Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News. Struggling with allergies this morning. Stuffed up nose, irritated eyes, uh, a sore throat. I will not take meds. I refuse to, so I will get through this as best I can, my friends. Um, I wanted to share another series of visions or a vision with you. Uh, again, I, I part of me is very apprehensive to do this because this is a news channel. This is not a uh, this is not a prophecy channel. I don't consider myself a prophet. I am not a prophet. I have not been blessed with that office. I am, however, a watchman at the wall, as are many of you. And I do get dreams and visions, which I do occasionally share with you. And I'm always interested in yours as well. Uh, what you are seeing with your eyes, uh, not what you're watching that somebody else posted, but what you are seeing with your own eyes. Um, you know that we are in a very precarious stage right now, where we have, of course, we have de-dollarization train derailments, uh, factories, uh, food processing plants exploding, and even as significantly, if not more significantly, on the wider scale, it does appear, certainly, that uh, we are perched on the precipice of worldwide war. We've been, people like me have been warning about this for years. It's been a long, slow climb but we are reaching the top of the hill, unfortunately, and um, it's coming. It is uh, it is easy to discount the, the information that I or others might share because, well, it hasn't happened yet. And, well, the, the Kim Jong-un is running his mouth and, and Putin's losing and uh, nothing's happening over there and nothing is blown up and blah, blah, blah. It's easy to, it's easy to discount this stuff as... Well, it hasn't happened yet. It won't happen. But I want to uh, just encourage you to keep looking at the, the macro situation out there concerning war, because it is coming. Now, vision I had this morning, and I, I appreciate you entertaining me through this, or enter, entertaining me doing, you know what I'm trying to say, allergies. Um, sunny day. Uh, spring or summer could be right around now uh, in upstate New York. It's been very sunny and very warm here. Um, running to a neighbor's house, and I'm pounding on their door. And I don't know these people. I've never spoken to them. I, I don't... Uh, people around this area of the, of the country are not always the friendliest folks, so you just don't go knocking on doors. But a uh, woman answers the door. Um, a woman that I have, uh, I mean, I've, I've seen her next door. I mean, she, there's a large family over there. And uh, I'm telling her, it's happened. You've got to get ready. There's been a series of explosions and strikes, and you're going to lose your power, and I want you to get ready. And she just looks at me and tells me I'm nuts and tells me to get the F off of her porch. So I do. I run to another house and I repeat the same situation. I'm pounding the same action. I'm pounding on the door. The gentleman answers. I say, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, there, there is something significant going on. There is an attack. There's been some explosions, uh, possibly nuclear, uh, possibly uh, hydrogen related. Something significant has happened. We are in danger. We're probably going to lose power. And he basically says something well if if trump wasn't in if trump was in office this wouldn't have happened and he slams the door okay so i'm repeating this action i'm running down the road pounding on doors trying to warn people and everyone is discounting me uh one person tells me that they're going to uh, call the cops again this was a very lengthy segmented vision i had this morning but it's what I'm trying to get from this and what I've prayed about and what I'm getting from this. That's where it ends. Me going through to several doors, pounding on doors, people discounting what I'm telling them. It's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, nobody believes me because nobody is seeing it. Nobody is seeing it in their yard. Nobody is seeing it out their window. Whatever they're watching on television or listening to or looking at online or on their phones, they're not getting this information. 
and then I get the, the sensation of information blackout, information blackout, which also is darkness, potentially an EMP, major power failure. But the point I'm trying to make is this. Let, let me just make this as, uh, as concise as I can, all right? Most are not listening. Something, something significant in its size and scope, something awful is at the door and no one is listening. No one will believe it until they see their house on fire. No one will believe it until the power's down. Most are not prepared. Many people have an idea that there is a war going on. Uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, NATO, of course, being in the middle of it, it's, it's a NATO proxy war. Most have an idea that there's something potentially dangerous occurring, but it's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen in their lifetimes. Um, most have an idea that um, that the dollar is, is diminishing and going to be gone and converted into a digital currency. But again, that's not in my lifetime. I'm Not in their lifetime, I should say. But what I'm getting from this is war will be the catalyst for all of it. War, of course, will hasten the rise of the man of sin, the son of perdition, the Antichrist, will hasten his rise. And of course, I believe he's transhuman. He's not fully human, but he is fully indwelt with the spirit of Satan. War will hasten the move to the digital currency, which will be the backing of the mark of the beast. War is the catalyst for this. War will start. It'll begin one place, maybe in the Koreas, maybe in Ukraine, maybe in Taiwan. Taiwan is still encircled. China is trying to enforce a blockade around Taiwan right now, basically strangle Taiwan. It will break out in one nation. Within days, it will have spread, and it will spread and spread and spread. And don't think for a minute that here in the United States that we're going to be protected and safe. That's a, that's a fool's errand to believe that. We will be impacted directly here. Possibly through invading forces, possibly through EMP, or some matter of missile strikes. We will be impacted here. This will at first be low scale. You may see uh, tactical nukes, but you, what you won't see is nuking of U.S. cities. You will see tactical nukes, nukes small scale exchange. It will send the world into a tizzy of terror. The world will be frightened. This will push the rise of the man, the man of sin. People will be screaming for an answer. This is coming, my friends. I'm trying to warn people. I'm not saying it's going to happen today. That's what this vision, I think, is reinfor reinforcing with me. Uh, people have to be warned, and people have to be prepared, and they've got to look beyond today. Again, I would recommend having your communications established. Again, I have this dusty plastic radio, this hand crank radio right here, AM, FM, shortwave. Have something like that. If you have a ham or CB, that's even better. Have it until the power goes down. If you have generators, batteries, ways to, uh, to operate uh, semi-gridded without being uh, connected to the power lines, you are even in a better position. But no matter how prepared we are, we are not fully prepared unless we have accepted the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Without him, nothing else that we have done or will do is going to matter. We will be dead in our sin. Knocking on doors, no one listening. If any of you are having any dreams, visions, or sensations through, uh, that this is occurring with you as well, please comment below. I've spent almost 10 minutes now talking about this, but my point is, without being a sensationalist, because I cannot stand sensationalists, and I cannot stand sensationalism. I can't stand the whole massive, huge thing. Cannot stand it. This is not a time for sensationalism. This is a time for clear, concise communication. This is not a time for exaggeration. This is a time for truth and preparation. No massive, no huge, no massive, massive, massive with, with, uh, with, uh, 
uh, mushroom clouds and um, red alerts and all that stuff. But yeah, this is a red alert. Let me rephrase that. This is a red alert. A time now, and we're entering into a time, clear, concise communication, no exaggeration, no, sens no sensationalism, spit it out, tell it like it is. I've gone all, well over 10 minutes now, and I'm finally now becoming concise. Just wanted to post this for you, my friends. Pray about it. Pray about the knocking on the doors, no one believing because they can't see it. But it has happened. It has happened during this, this point when I am knocking on doors. Be prepared, my friends. That's all I... I this is what this is all about for me. I'll never be the biggest YouTuber. I'll never have the most subscribers. I'll never be gigantic here. But I try to reach who I can because I believe this is what God wants of me. And I will continue to do it as a yeoman. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.